Greetings, salutations. This is Notorious. You haven't realized that there's that time for the read you a poem. This one is entitled That Which Borders the Twilight. It was inspired by Zidane Mina. You will see a picture of the artwork now. So, without well, anything further to say, I do, let's play some eardrums. <clears throat> to state that you know where I stand is to state that we three, who are the bonds that tether together this inseparable universe, are bound to such moral mindsets like good and evil or right and wrong. We cast forth the igniting blight that burns away and reveals the truth of gossipers who only read halfway through their own hypocrisy as they begin to believe their own little fairy tales and lies as realities, warnings are ignored. Cause tell me, <clears throat> where do the sun and moon meet? Where do heaven and hell come together to speak of their heated accusations against the mortals that seem always ready to cast judgment on those they have no right to? Blasphemous slander of how it is our given duty to do what is right by them and then alone. Watching the hands my utopia slowly ticks away as the sands cascade burying new and old fables in the pages of my greatest work simply known as history. Yes, what always repeats, foretell me, foretell me, where does the nocturnal dream we were go to hide within the folds and talk to her fellow? Who looks endearingly at the keep to see when the great devourer shall smother the world that has long delayed its own kindling and expiration? Time is no one's messiah, for I seek not the saving of the peons who chant my name, enjoying the rare moments I grant. For how can you not see the truth that time will never set you free? That was good. So, this was Notorious. I'm out. Deuces.